Hi everyone, so clearly lessons on Tuesdays and Thursdays weren't working very well. Uh, what we're going to start doing is using videos like this one to teach you. Your obligation as a prospective programmer for the robotics team is simply to follow along with these videos. I recommend that you write the code samples that I show you in each video uh, on your own, and eventually that will help you become familiar with the Java programming language, which is what we use on our team. So let's get started right away. At this point, you should have installed NetBeans and JDK on your computer. If you haven't yet, you can go to uh, NetBeans JDK bundle, just type that in, and download the appropriate version. If you're on Windows, you can find out which version you can go to by, by clicking on Computer Properties, and then you'll find out which uh, system type you have. And the 64-bit operating system will need x64, 32-bit will require x x86, and so on. If you recall from earlier weeks, NetBeans is our IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. If we Google that term, we see that an IDE is a software application that provides comprehensive facilities to computer programmers for software development. That's the key word. Basically, then, this tool lets us write code. To start writing a program in NetBeans, go to File, New Project, Java, Java Application. We'll name this project to whatever you like. So let's call it Hello World for now. Uh, NetBeans will create this project for us, and then we'll be able to start running our program. So NetBeans created Hello World.java for us. It's going to be our first program called Hello World.java. And the most important part right now is public static void main between these two brackets. So type out the following. Make sure that you uh, follow that it's case sensitive and that you follow each character like periods and so on. So capital S system dot out dot print ln stands for print line parentheses, in quotes, hello world, and end it with a semicolon. Now we want to run this program. NetBeans makes this very easy for us. Just click the green arrow on top. That'll let us run the project. And down here, hello world should pop up. So that's exactly what we put into system.out.println. We can put something else in here. Let's say uh, this is a string. Print that out, and it'll say this is a string. Now what exactly do I mean by this is a string? A string is a piece of data, essentially usually representing text. Uh, in Java, it's represented between two double quotes. If I try doing this in single quotes, NetBeans will give me an error, and that'll be shown uh, by this red line. NetBeans doesn't recognize that this is a string. If I try to run this code, first of all, it'll try to prevent me from running, but if I run it anyway, it'll give me this error. So make sure that that is between double quotes. If I try to run it with no quotes at all, that means it will also give me an error because it doesn't know that this is a string in the first place. So you have to make sure that whatever you're typing in is in fact a string. And that of course will run. Printline is a built-in method in Java that allows us to print a line out. So why can't we just type in printline whatever we typed in before? If I try to run this, I'll get an error because printline doesn't actually exist. This is running because we already printed out system.out.println. We need system.out because printline, uh, there are other ways to print a string out. You can print to a database, for example. What we specifically want to do is to print to the console down here. So if I run this, it'll show up in our output. Some of these earlier lines are in gray, and they aren't actually run at all. Java lets us write in comments that improve documentation of code that you can put in notes to yourself, whatever you like. Comments are basically denoted by two forward slashes, and then everything after that slash, Java does not recognize, and it will not run that code. You can also use a slash and then an asterisk. You put stuff between that, and then close your asterisk and then another slash. So this is your first program, uh, just starting out by printing out something to the console. And you can print out whatever you like. It doesn't have to be this. It can be you know, just some random string. You can print out multiple lines. This is a second line, for example. And if we run this, these will display on separate lines. So you can do this as long as, as often as you want, you know. You can repeatedly print line, if you will. And it'll just print this out. If you have any errors, uh, there are common error is you did not put the semicolon at the end of your statement. That will give you an error because the semicolon lets Java know that the statement is finished. If the semicolon is not there, then Java doesn't know what to do because it thinks you're still continuing whatever action you have. Make sure that you capitalize S in system and you have dot print ln, not actual line, and that this text, the string, is between two parentheses. 
And that's really the starting point for our first tutorial. Eventually we'll get into more complex stuff. Uh, I can show you some of the robot code we already have, which is actually quite complex and uses something called object-oriented programming. Uh, getting involved with that, eventually this is the basics, going from system that out to print line to that sort of code. Eventually it'll get very complex and you know, you'll have several dozen if not hundred lines of code, but this is the starting point and eventually we'll get up to that level of expertise where we can start writing actual code uh, for our robots. So thank you for listening to this video. Uh, this will be hopefully the first in a series of several videos designed to get you up to speed with the programming language. And um, yeah, thanks a lot.